Ladies and gentlemen, for a moment, let's think what education means to you. Well, for me, it's a really big hurdle. No, not my PhD, uh, in a different sense. In the sense of its usage as a word, specifically in the case of Indian languages, Hindi and Marathi. Because the Hindi word for education is Shiksha, whereas the Marathi word for punishment is also Shiksha. Absurd, right? Uh, and unless you're not doing a PhD, education and punishment should not really be the same for you. <laughs> well, uh, let us take a step back and see how this began. Today I'm going to discuss the detection of such word pairs, which are called false friends, using natural language processing or NLP techniques. So cognate words are words which are etymologically or historically borrowed from a mother language and which look the same at the surface level, spelling-wise, and also mean the same. But false friends are these deceptive words, and the term is coined for them because they look the same at the surface level, but they do not really mean the same. So we are trying to detect these. Automatic cognate detection has been going on for a long time in natural language processing or NLP, but false friends has not been paid much attention to. So we thought, why not try and solve this problem? False friends or uh, any NLP problem, solving, solving any NLP problem, the very first step is trying to build a good data set. Lucky for me, I had some lying around in the refrigerator of my lab. Uh, not really lying around, lying around, but was being built for the past 20 odd years lying around. This data set is known as the WordNet data set, and to solve this problem or to validate our approach, we also built another dummy data set from a text of simple text documents. After building these data sets, we started looking at approaches. So the recipe was sort of similar, uh, simple. Surface similarity, really high. Semantic similarity, not so much. We used these data sets and extracted a list of potential false friend word pairs and used the classical notion of surface uh, normalized edit distance and cosine similarity to look at the surface of these words. And for semantic similarity, we used something called the modern techniques, the deep learning techniques, or the deep learning based cross lingual word embeddings. Finally, we found out that the result or the output smells really good. To give you a taste of what we cooked, for language pairs like Hindi and Gujarati, the word saras in Hindi, which means a water reservoir, which is absolutely different to the word saras in Gujarati, which commonly is known as good or beautiful. In conclusion, this tastes amazing. Well, thank you so much for listening.